Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. So excited for our next guest, Melissa Lentz, joining us live here today to talk more about her role as president of your Bayside Concierge. And by the way, that's the website too, your Bayside Services include home, property management, managing vacation rentals, full service listing and hosting. So much more though, managing contractors and you name it, she does it. Let me first and foremost introduce Melissa. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. And where are you? You're in Maryland, right? Yes. How's the weather there today? Um, it's a little rainy. How's it there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same yeah. here. We're in New York, but uh, we're excited to get to know you and uh, what your Bayside Concierge has to offer. So would you mind just by starting and giving us a little overview of the types of services you provide? Um, I call it lifestyle management. Okay. Um, we help people um, with their errands and responsibilities and just um, help them um, take care of things that they don't necessarily have time to do themselves or they would rather be spending their time with friends and family and letting somebody else take care of the, the responsibilities. So that's the lifestyle portion. And then the property management, um, also helping people take care of their homes um, Anything from, again, managing the contractors, doing home check-ins if they're not there full time, you know, checking to make sure everything's working properly, there's no leaks, um, and then um, the vacation rental. So we do the listings, property management, hosting, you name it. So... <laughs> awesome. Well, this is exciting. Uh, before we get into more details of all the services you provide and hear more details, I want to get to know about you, if you don't mind. Uh, where did you grow up and what inspired you to you know, become an entrepreneur? If you don't mind giving us a little bit of that backstory, which I got to read, <laughs> but so our listeners and viewers get to know. Thank you. Uh, thanks. It's um, it's sometimes a little tough to talk about, but um, I, I was born in Reno, Nevada, um, my parents actually, uh, got divorced when I was very young. Mm. Um, and my mom moved across the country and we ended up in, um, Harford County in Aberdeen. Okay. Um, and that's where I went to school, um, high school and grew up. Um, my mom, uh, got married a few times after, um, and, uh, we ended up uh, living, um, in domestic violence for several years, um, so it was something that you didn't talk about then, and it's kind of difficult to talk about now, um, but it uh, it made me a very strong person. Strong and independent. Yes. Um, and uh, actually, um, she was almost uh, killed in front of me twice. And yeah, so. Oh my gosh. And I had amazing friends in Harvard County that, um, kind of new. So they uh, would help on the side and make sure that things were okay, give us a place to go to if needed and, um, you know, just make sure everything was safe. Um, so with that said, again, made me a strong person, um, a survivor, and I'm grateful for that experience um, because it made me not only a strong business person, but it made me uh, very passionate to help people. And that's, uh, that's kind of where everything blossomed from. So, oh my goodness. Well, thank you for sharing that. I know it's not easy, obviously. And uh, I went through my fair share with my parents uh, and their domestic violence in front of us as children. And here I am, 46. I have two kids, never been married. So I I've been scared of all that stuff. I've never figured that part out. But, um, you know, you always look at to your, your trauma and you want better for your life and for your family in the future. So I could really empathize with, with the words you're saying, because I know that's not easy, but God bless her. Um, and, you know, all she had to endure and you. Um, but uh, here you are doing, you know, your best and you became this amazing uh, entrepreneur. Uh, at what age did you start, um, you know, this business or were you in something else first? Do you want to share a little bit about that? Well, I watched my mom work several jobs, and so I wanted yeah. to be just like her. So I, <laughs> I started working when I was 15. <laughs> I had a couple jobs, went to school. Um, I was fired a few times because I wouldn't listen to what people said, <laughs> um, which I laugh about today, but that, um, mm -hmm. that was, you know, who I was, strong-headed and uh, felt like 
I kind of knew uh, better ways. Everything but, and mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I worked, 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 worked my way through um, college. I ended up going to Catonsville Community College. Um, I went for uh, seven years. Um, it ended up being my safe place. Um, I got to know the counselors and the teachers and just kept taking more classes. And um, they uh, came to me literally seven years later and said, Melissa, it's time to go. <laughs> you need to uh, leave and, and start your life. Um, and they actually, in doing that, did an ad, ad campaign and featured um, some students and I was one of them. So that that actually gave me, I was scared to death, but that gave me a ton of encouragement to really go out and try, um, try my best to, to work and again, help people. So. And, and I, I read in your notes before about your middle school teacher who told you, you know, you have to work your whole life. So you might as well love what you do, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my yeah. goodness. And then you were the founder and CEO. What was the name of the company? It's MJAC Designs. It's a marketing firm, and mm -hmm. um, and going. I'm I'm going to show my age. Okay, so going. I can't through, believe this. <laughs> no, I started community college as a, a fine art um, uh, degree. I I know people can't see, but you might be able to see a painting behind me. I did that. Um, I can actually in high school. So, and going through college, all of a sudden, computers came wow. out. Wow! Yeah, so I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> And I quit. I was like, I had no, I didn't have the self-confidence. I quit. I was like, I cannot do this. Um, you know, I'm, you know, hands-on drawing, painting, um, color theory. And um, again, the teachers and counselors knew me so well that they called me back and said, you sit here, you can do it. They made me cry sitting there in the classroom until I figured it out. And I'm grateful for that because I did figure it out. And so I have a fine art degree, a graphic design degree. Um, and um, again, it was a blessing because the whole industry changed and in came graphic design. Um, and that's kind of where I started. And that's where the marketing firm wow. started. So. You are one busy woman, and I love that you're here putting other people first. And uh, you know, with all these years in customer service and your experience, um, then you decide to develop this company. How did who inspired you to to do this? This is a, yet another venture you took upon. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had I've had the marketing firm for almost 22 years. Wow, um, woman minority certified marketing firm. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started that, uh, people said that I had mentors, um, said I was stupid, naive. I had one person tell me I was dumb because I wanted to focus on people and not money. And kind of based on that teacher that told me you have to work your whole life, you may as well love what you do. I really mm -hmm. took that to heart. And um, my mission has always been people. And the marketing firm survived because people is our focus and um it always has been and when you focus on people everything comes from there um it's amazing things you don't even expect um and i was able to buy a second home at the beach um when my mom was passing away a couple years ago um it was during uh the pandemic um and the senior assisted living facility let me sit with her as she was passing. Um, and uh, the beach was a special place for her and I. She was able to work very hard and buy a second place there. Um, and that was our safe place when we were going through the tough times. So uh, the night that she passed, I told her um, that I was going to buy a second place at the beach and she would always have a, a home there. Ah. She was non responsive. Um, when I said that to her, her eyes just started fluttering. Um, and I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I need to do this for my mom. Um, she uh. passed on Thursday. I went on a Saturday. Then that, the next Saturday was standing in a home, looking at it again, thinking I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Um, had a Facebook memory that popped up on my phone. I looked at it and Jill, literally the clothes I had on standing in that home 
was the exact same clothes I had on that day a year prior with my mom. And that was the Facebook memory that came up. And I just, I knew at that moment it was meant to be, and I would, I would make it work. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. I lost my mom in 2017 and I was with her when she took her last breath and she, she unfortunately died of lung cancer, but I know that feeling of making your mom proud and I get it. I, I went through my own stuff and that is amazing how it's just so meant to be. And I so believe in that and what a beautiful sign from her. And then, so from there you're at the, it was the first property you were at. Yeah. My mom passed from lung cancer as well. Oh. Yeah. Was she a smoker? Was it, or a non-smoker? I mean, it happens to anyone, but my mom was a smoker, but she still got the small cell. What about yours? She was a smoker. She um, worked for the state department as well and spent many years in Africa. Um, and I think she inhaled a lot of dust and mm. um, stuff, which accelerated it. Um, but she lived in a, she lived a very good life after going through so much. And um, I pride myself in following wow. in her footsteps. Um, so in her able, honor. Yeah. I was able to get the house and um, had to get another couple jobs to help pay for it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but spending some time there thinking about my mom and just literally walking every day and looking around, I was just seeing so much that you don't see when you're in a car driving by, when you're in a rush or you're thinking and you got to be somewhere. And it really was not only grounding, but it made me so aware of the needs of people um, in all different ways. Like there were people not leaving their homes. They, the, the car was in the driveway. I mean, seniors um, and they just people needed help. You could see um, construction workers starting projects and then two months later it would be the same because nobody was there following up with them. And um, trash cans not being, you know, just like stuff, yeah. plants not being watered. And so that's when it came to me, um, the concierge business, I thought, well, you know, I've never heard of anything like that, but it, it was certainly a needed thing. And I thought even, you know, at the beach or anywhere, um, yeah. people need help and you don't real realize it. You don't realize what people are going through and what they need. And when you put yourself out there, it's amazing. Um, what you can do to, to help them live a better life. Well, so. oh, well, beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing your story and, and your journey. And again, we want everyone to reach out, go to your com. That's Y O U R B A Y S I D E C O N C I E R G E dot com. And you can call 410-629-HELP. I love that 410-629-HELP. Great phone number you got there. <laughs> and <laughs> Let's talk specifically. Um, I know you you, you want to talk. We you talked a little about um, you know the core of your mission and values, um, and let's go over some of the specific services that people you know are in need of. There's so many listed on the site. So where do you want to start? Home management. <laughs> well, you know the heart and soul was helping seniors. That that really was um, a, the big part of why the business was launched. Um, and in doing so, just all of this other stuff happened. So um, with the seniors, um, there were things like, you know, checking in on them, making sure it's non-medical, just checking in, making sure they were good. Um, you know, did they need to talk? Did they want to play a game, help with their laundry? Um, just letting them know that somebody was there, that they would be there um, to encourage them to get up in the morning and just know that somebody was going to be there to check in on them. A lot of them don't have family or the family is far. Um, so that was really where the heart and soul was, um, you know, bringing groceries, um, just things that they need. Um, so that was the main piece. And then the lifestyle management and property management happened uh, from there. Um, we have seniors that have homes there, they're not there and just go in regularly once a week, do a walkthrough take photos, you know, and, and send them a link with the photos. Yeah. The picture's worth a thousand words and just letting them see what's going on. Um, and, you know, offering, you know, consider maybe doing a yard cleanup. Um, last year we found someone's roof literally that was leaking. Um, and we're able to uh, get a contract mm -hmm. there that day, stop it and um, prevent save. way further damage. My goodness. Yes. Um, I can fix garbage disposals now. 
<laughs> Look at you. And she's the plumber. And she's, ah. <laughs> Um, you know, running water, uh, a lot of times, um, the county will come out, turn it off because they're doing work and they forget to turn it on. And, you know, you come to, if it's a vacation home, you come to stay and there's no water. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? Yeah. Um, it's just, it's stuff like that, that people, um, appreciate having, you know, eyes, ears, boots to the ground, having somebody there that they can trust and, um, and, and on our side as well, we have amazing contractors and support system that we rely on as well um, that we can trust. And they'll be there in minutes, literally, if we ask them to. It's it's uh, it's amazing. And, and let me just ask, Melissa, what is your area, you know, specifically that we're doing all this? I know, um, is it in Berlin, Maryland, Ocean Pine specifically, or do you what other you know areas are you working in? It started in Ocean Pines in Berlin. It's extended into Ocean City and Selbyville. Wow. Delaware. So it's it's expanding. We don't we don't want to grow so fast that we can't deliver. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're we don't tell people no, but we're cautious about how we take things on and then ensure that we have the support system to fulfill the need. Um, that's the last thing we want to do is is say yes, 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 and then not be able to be there. And again, we haven't said no. We've always been able to work out a way to make it work for both of us, us and the homeowner. So um, awesome. again, it's putting people first and everything else works. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, thank you so much for this. And I uh, just want to point out again, we are speaking with Melissa Lentz. Tell us all the ways we can contact you again. If someone is tuning in now, I'd appreciate it. Um, well, they can... Um, they can email uh, Melissa at your Bayside Um, They can text me on my personal phone or call at 410-409-0535, or they can call the office phone at 410-629-HELP, and that's 4357. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. And then I also was reading about like professional cleaning organization. Uh, there's also tackling those to-do lists. Could you share a little bit more about that? You know, if you're anything like me, you don't want to get rid of anything. <laughs> I'm such a hoarder. I'm organi organizationally challenged. I am. And I have the two kids and I just look around. Even my office desk here is just like, what's happening? I don't have enough time. I could organize anyone else's space. Great. But I'm so hard at throwing things away. I have this attachment issue. So how do you help people with that? <laughs> just um, sitting with them and asking them um, what their priorities are. Um, what do they want to do in the next couple of years and, and how do they want to organize and where would they like their, um, their, their treasures to go to, you know, if we can take something that's special to them and donate it to an organization that needs it, how amazing is that, you know, how amazing is that to help to take your treasured pieces and help others, um, and then, you know, we work to organize if you don't want, if you're not ready to let go, you know, um, we'll, we'll buy, put together the organizers, make it work. Um, whatever people need, literally, we work with them to help them. Um, and, you know, if, if they need to, if we make a list and they need to sit and, and think about it, that's fine too. It's no pressure. Um, okay. We also help with, you know, decorating for parties. We had uh, recently a bachelorette party that came in and had a ton of fun putting a welcome basket together. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Elf at the party store, you know, and just, you know, getting messages from people um, when they walk in saying, oh, oh my gosh, like we never expected that. Thank you. And it just, you know, makes you feel good. So it sure it does. My goodness. Well, let me ask now you also do, you know, like you mentioned home check-ins, right. And I love that, um, you're able to help so many people like in a, a situation where we're checking the, the plumbing and the water issue, um, other unique services, you do, uh, personal assistance, right? So you're talking any task that you can do, whether it's booking, helping travel, there's, uh, could you share a little bit more about that? Yeah. Well, um, a good example was that roof, um, we yes. were able to not only find the issue, but work with the contractor, uh, manage them to go back out, get on the yep. roof, 
Well, I didn't, we didn't get on the roof. We were <laughs> the contractors. Knowing you, you might have. No, I've... <laughs> <laughs> um, and get samples of the shingles and then yeah. you know, package it up, send it to the warranty company, help the homeowner fill out all of the paperwork, follow up with the warranty company, send 50 photos, um, and then help them get a decent amount back because it was covered under the warranty. They wouldn't have been able to do that um, without our, our assistance. Um, you know, just running errands or running to the grocery store, you know, if, if people have um, friends and family coming and they want to focus on other stuff, we can go get yep. the groceries and deliver them. Um, you know, just making people's lives easier, um, whatever we can do. So. And how do you, you know, how many other staff members do you have? I mean, this seems like a lot of work, especially probably in the summer months, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have we have about four or five people that are working with us now. And um, again, they're amazing. Um, yesterday, we had a homeowner that uh, there was a, a light bulb in the hallway that you couldn't you couldn't reach and the stairs like it was almost impossible to get to. Um, and I text uh, one of my people and said, can you get up there and change the bulb? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> And they're like, uh, okay. So an hour later, um, bought the bulbs, the bulb was changed. It's, it's working great now for the next guest to come in. So, and pictures, well, again, we follow up the, with pictures so people can see that it's done and, and feel good about it. So. Beautiful. Well, also, I just want to point out, um, you know, that was reading more about you and even the grocery services, which are beautiful, but you also do decorating too. So it's like interior design. What's this about? <laughs> well, I, I do have a little experience in the real estate industry. Um, and so staging and decorating is, again, I'm like an elf when I go in. Like if we, so cute. If we can help people make their space pretty or different, or even if somebody's getting ready to list their home or get it ready for um, vacation rental, um, we'll go through and recommend things that they might necessarily think of as, you know, a homeowner, um, but bring in um, ideas. You know, if you have guests coming, uh -huh. you might want to consider this in your, in your um, uh, hallway or, you know, in your entrance and, um, or if you're selling, you know, you might, we would actually talk to you about, you know, neutralizing things and taking down personal stuff and um, just working, working with the homeowners and the customers to give them ideas that um, they wouldn't, might not think about themselves and giving them suggestions. And then we can also follow through and hire and help with the contractors and make it happen. So Oh my goodness. And by the way, you are fully licensed, right? And sure. Could you just share a little bit about that? Cause that's always important to people. Well, yeah. how does it work? Right. <laughs> licensed, insured and bonded. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I, I kind of laugh a little bit because when started the business, like everybody's like, what, what does concierge business mean? And so, you know, trying to explain and spend a year on the website and the, the database and the CRM and just all the things and um, showing the insurance companies, this is what we do. I was like, we've never heard of that before. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, well, I I yeah. also want to point out on your site, you have some vacation rentals available. Are those your personal uh, homes or do you you also help contract other uh, uh, owners of homes to help out with for their vacation rentals? Yeah, they're clients' homes. So okay. we, we manage the whole thing from, we have a, an amazing photographer uh, we can do drone shots, which um, the ones on there are waterfront and on a golf course are beautiful. Um, it lets people see, you know, not only the inside, but what they're going to experience when they get there. Um, yep. We help the homeowners, you know, think about hair dryers, fire extinguishers, um, smoke alarms, you know, things that they might not necessarily think of because they're getting, they're getting their home ready to rent to other people. Um, so we do all that. Then we do the listing and the hosting. And um, I'm very proud to say we've received five stars from. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, and we speak with the guests coming in. So we reach out, we ask if they need anything, you have any questions, here's local things you could do. Are there food allergies? 
and we make a special gift basket for everyone coming in, depending on what their preferences are. We don't go completely overboard, but it's a really nice little special thing that they walk into. Um, then follow up when they're there. And then as they leave, you know, wish them a safe trip home and, um, and hope, you know, ask if they're going to return. Hopefully they will next year. So try to be, uh, create some repeat business and yeah. yeah. And what do you do in your downtime? Do you have any downtime? <laughs> <laughs> I walk, I walk and talk and, um, I feel like, uh, I'd like to get out and again, be in the environment and then, um, if, if somebody, if I see somebody like is down or needs, um, some support or help, that's kind of what I enjoy doing on my time off is, uh, working and helping people and they help me too. So, oh, well, it's a pleasure having you here, getting to know you. And again, if we want to reach out, do you offer initial a phone call consultation to someone who's interested in any of your work? Yes. Yes, please. Um, Again, the phone number, you can reach me on my personal cell, 410-409-0535. Call, text, um, I'll answer right away. Um, and you can look at the website, yourbaysideconcierge.com. If you wanna look at the services, okay. you can book a package, you can ask questions. Um, we're here to serve you and help you, so. Beautiful, and it's Ocean Pines, Ocean City, Maryland, and also in uh, Delaware, is that Selbyville? Yes. Yes. Perfect. I was looking at the map. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Pleasure getting to meet you today and getting to see your beautiful face. And uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with us and congrats on all the success. And, you know, clearly you're doing what you love by helping so many. And uh, thank you. So excited. Hopefully we will chat again. Thank you, Jill. Thank you. Have a great day. And to all of our listeners and viewers, stay tuned. More of the show is coming right up after this. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go, and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.